Okay. We're a little crooked there. That's, it's okay. It's the first image. That, oh, um, I'm going to be talking about the... Um, Miles and I were talking, and uh, I'm going to start doing a regular segment. So, you know, maybe maybe I'll come back next month. Um, called Nate's Semi-Precious Gems, when I'm going to be presenting weird gems that I've found that don't work very well. Um, <laughs> this month's selling. gem, which works even worse than I was told it did, is the uh, Google Spreadsheets gem. It's Ooh. terrible. has some cool stuff to it, but the coolest part of it is the Records API, and you get 500 errors whenever you try to do anything with the Records API. So, so that's fun. This is the first image. If you search for semi-precious gem spreadsheet, um, you get some sort of tiny typewriter, let's say. Um, before I get into it, though, here's a Sinatra app that we use. This is the rescue interface. Um, we have forked rescue to use Mongo. I know I always talk about that. That delayed jobs column is awesome, and I'll bore you with it later, but I don't want this to be advertising for my semi-precious gem. So, um, that, that's to... actually Andy. Put that in the club somewhere because I'm not wanting to install it. Okay. Not for any particular reason. Yeah, we. I figured Mongo is enough. We added a, a bunch of new features. Um, well, are you, you coming to the bar? Yeah. We'll talk. Yeah. I've been promised a beer. <laughs> well, you've been told there would be beer. That's different from a promise. <laughs> so here's what I did um, this is a spreadsheet which doesn't work real well. Um, I just added a couple little columns so it would look like it's something that's actually in use. But um, in theory, this thing's going to manage some stock prices for us. Um, you can see stock purchase. Well, you can't see anything there. Um, the whole point of the spreadsheets gem, it's the, you know, Sinatra is there when you don't want all the rails overhead and you just need to throw something out there real fast and quick and you don't want to worry about it and you need to run it everywhere. Um, Google Spreadsheets Gem lets you read and write to a Google Spreadsheet. And first I'm going to talk about the part that's broken and you'll understand why I'm so mad. There's a records API that these two lines that are commented out, everybody see that? Yeah. No? What do you, Matt, help me out here. Uh, I've made a presentation. Awesome. Those lines that are commented out there, um, there you go. You can define a table on your spreadsheet and then tell it what the column names are and then read and write to it like it's a database table. And there's a query API that doesn't work. You can get back your records and they come back as hashes, except it doesn't work. Um, you can see adding a record there. It also doesn't work, <laughs> but in theory, that's what I was going to be talking about. Um, and it looks really cool, but it, it doesn't work. So... What's, what's with spreadsheet gems and not working? Does uh, anyone use the, the actual, like, just spreadsheet gem uh, on that large file? Not, not good? It's yeah. It absolutely yeah. cracks all over. It. it was a huge encourager for us to write Dockraptor. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think we'll eat memory like nobody's business. Yeah. I, I ended up just telling people, just yeah. you know, go to Excel, file, save as CSV, and we'll upload right yeah. now. <laughs> We're going to have to use a spreadsheet to Excel. So, let's just start with the demo. Uh, I'm going to load that thing up. The Stockster. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, all it does is log in. Um, you can log in username and password, which is what LameAuth is doing for me. Um, <laughs> or you can get an OAuth token and jump through all those hoops, but this talk isn't about OAuth, so um, even though I know everything about how it works, I'm not going to talk about it. Um, you can get all your spreadsheets back as a list, and you get, when you, when you do the, you know, when you get session.spreadsheets, you get, you get pretty rich data for that, and I'll show you. Um, you get uh, like a lot of stuff, um, but you know you get some tokens to authenticate your session. You get all the URLs that you need to update, read, write, give out the spreadsheet, all the all the things that make the API work. Um, you can get at pretty easily, um, and then you get your list of worksheets. You can get the names and everything else. I'm lazy, so I'm just using indexes, um, and that's it. So you want to edit the sheet. Um, uh, yeah, 
I will do a purchase here. Um, you know, I'm just writing kind of what you would expect. Today's date, how many shares of that stock I'm purchasing. Um, price maker just generates random stock prices for me. And then um, you can see these two here. I'm actually writing a formula to the cell. It all works like you would expect. Um, so I'll go back over here and quote. All right, there's my prices. Uh, Google looks pretty good. So uh, let's buy 10 of those and pretty much as fast as I can get to the spreadsheet if the wireless is working. Yeah, there it is. Um, so that seems to be a little error in my current value formula. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the problem with the... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so there we go. Uh, we'll just forget that happened. <laughs> I am, uh, if anyone wants to invest in my new stock company, um, <laughs> I'm currently looking for investors. Um, yeah, but the spreadsheet's still there. So for a time when you're writing just a stupid little one-off script, doing some crunching some numbers, whatever, and you either need really lazy storage that you don't really care about, you just need to keep it until tomorrow, or you need a really crappy interface to your data and then later maybe you'll read it with another script or not the spreadsheets gem is great for that we're throwing something together that scans our lighthouse um, we're calling it hobo burndown and, and all it does is is just just spit out a chart we don't care um, we just want how many tickets did we close last week how many tickets did we close this week what's our projected number of tickets closed next week that's it that's all it does spreadsheets is nice for that because we can say hey here's a spreadsheet and give it to the people that actually create the tickets and say, see, this is why we hate you when you create tickets. Um, for stuff like that, it's good. But I got some other stuff in here. So um, I'll advance this a week. And you can see, maybe, yeah, there we go. So it updates live because Google collaborative editing stuff, this part of the API actually works really well. Um, you know, all that's updating. And even though that formula is awful, you can see the prices are updating. Um, we even got a little chart in here that tracks all that. Uh, if you do, I've got this region up here with, um, these are all name cells of the latest price. And the app, you know, it's using the symbol to get at those name cells and the formula. So, I mean, you interact with it, you write to the cells just like you would write in a normal editor. It all works like you would expect. So, like on, I was just thinking that on TripTrack, I've been wanting to like make a Google Doc to keep track of like, of, like for instance, um, user growth and unit growth. And so it seems like it might make sense to like just write a little a API or something, like make my own little TripTrack API to this where it can like every time a specific event happens, I could write it out to a Google Doc and then I can have a chart of all this crap over time. Yeah, you could definitely do that. Um, I don't know that the API does any limiting in how much you can access it, but um, that's certainly something, especially if you, you know, if you roll it up daily or something. Right. Um, it, it'd be very, very, I mean, this whole thing is 60 lines, it's, and most of those lines are really terrible lines like this. So. Um, I mean, I have a background chart that goes in yeah, I think that'd be a, that'd be a piece of cake. Any other questions? <laughs> well, so do I. <laughs> maybe, maybe we could invest that equity in my stock company. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. If nobody has any questions, that's it. That is the. Uh, Google. Does it work or not work? Uh, the yes. work, so there are like three or four APIs. The latest version of the Google Spreadsheet API is 3.0. Um, it, it's pretty nice. The standard worksheet API, which is what you're looking at there, uh, works great. It works just like you expect. I have a spreadsheet that lets me manipulate market prices in EVE Online and um, for three months now I've been making a small amount of money. So 
it works really well. Uh, the records API is completely broken, and then there's some other API I didn't even look at because I was so mad about the records API that I just finished up the file and that was it. But they definitely, you know, they give you a couple different ways to get at the data, and if they worked, it'd be great. In GitHub, there are a couple of different spreadsheet gems. Um, who had a month command I never ran? That would have been cool. It is uh, Google Spreadsheet Ruby. Let me go to GitHub and get the person's name. Oh, it's not like an official one. And the, the Google the Google Spreadsheet API 3 documentation is very complete. Uh, looks like Gamite, G-I-M-I-T-E, Google Spreadsheet Ruby. And it's, it, I mean, if you open it up, it's one file. It's just writing XML straight to the API. It's, it's real simple stuff. Right, now you go. 